internet it is your Oregon stoner Marissa here and today I have a haul for you but this isn't any sort of normal haul that I do we're doing our first crafty video this is a craft supply haul before I get into this, let me say definitely not sponsored. I did get everything off of Amazon, so if you are looking for these items, then you can go down below and I will try to have links for everything that I purchased down the there. The first thing that I picked up is a cutting mat. This is called a self-healing cutting mat, so something in it supposedly kind of fixes it itself and that's what she looks like. This one is about ten and a half inches long by uh, seven and a half inches tall. And that's my working space which is fine for what I'm doing. I'll be using this for uh, cutting magazines apart for various art projects. That are coming in the future. Next I picked up my cutting utensil, an X-Acto blade. And that's just a cap down there. It is a sharp knife for cutting things if you don't know what an X-Acto blade is. But that's what I will be using in combination with this. I got a set of five replacement blades for the X-Acto knife just in case it dulls out on me. Cutting through paper shouldn't be too taxing, but you never know. I got some Mod Podge so that I can decoupage or essentially glue something onto something else. I got some glue. The glue is for a different sort of project that I do using magazines. Uh, it goes along with... this 24 pack of ultra fine sharpies they have lots of different colors in here obviously 24 of them i do all this art with magazines because i really like freebies and for a while when i was searching for freebies online i was finding a lot of free magazine deals and without thinking about how much paper would be coming to my house I signed up for a couple of these different deals and my apartment complex doesn't have a recycling facility. There isn't one within easy walking distance. So I got stuck with all these magazines piling up and nothing to do with them. So I've started coming up with creative ways to turn them into new art projects. And that's also what this last item is for. These are herb scissors. They have five blades and they make very thin cuts. Thin like this. This is a paper flower that I made using a tutorial that I found on Pinterest. And that is what the next video in the art series is going to be. I'm going to be showing you how to make a bouquet of your own flowers. Those are the items that I had to share with you today. I just wanted to let you know what I purchased, show you kind of where the channel is going, and give you a sneak peek into some of the art that I have been creating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps let me know that you appreciate uh, and want more of these art themed videos please subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date with everything that I create in the future and my friends until next time peace out and stay stoned